this is one of our biggest problems is the misconception Sorry. that it is electricity that is running the world mm. because in reality it is heat and uh, I think this comes because you have the mobile phone and you have the light and so on but if you think a little deeper you realize that producing things require heat if you want milk for example it needs to be pasteurized or if you have cloths you need to wash it and dry it and so on so the final use of energy in the world is actually electricity only 20 percent and heat is 49 but if you look at what uh, as, as politicians and people in general think that electricity is everything all the policies and all the measurements that we do to to uh, get renewable it is put in the electricity sector and it's only 20 percent so we're missing 49 or 50 percent out of the picture mm. and in this we put the the industry on top and the industry is consuming about a third of the global energy use and you see it's a small blue piece that is electricity but the rest is heat mm. and our part is the yellow part that is heat below 150 degrees in industries that's seven percent of the world energy supply yeah and it's just ridiculous doing producing that by burning yes yeah, yeah you should do it by solar heat. yeah yeah and uh, uh, if i look at the uh, efficiency rate uh, it's 76.6 percent yes. uh, in your latest product in mm -hmm. t160 which is extremely high uh, yes. if i think about an engine in a car i know that most of them uh, the movement the motion uh, created or um, uh, the energy from from your fossil fuel is is wasted in heat uh, about 80 percent or even mm, more mm. Uh, so and if you look at solar panels they have an efficiency rate of up to 23 percent mm -hmm. that's the maximum mm -hmm. when you do electricity when you do electricity but you also realize if you look at physics mm -hmm. basic physics you know that uh, so much wasted in heat and you can't mm. the problem is you can't um, because of the laws of thermodynamics mm -hmm. it's very hard to to use that uh, secondary heat uh, wasted mm. heat mm. into motion mm. um, so that's better to use the primary heat so to speak and yes. use as much of, of it as possible and I, I guess that's what you're doing with the solar thermal uh, solution yes if you have a thermal process for example we are in the tea industry mm. if you want to have uh, one ton of uh, tea in your tea bag mm. you need to burn five tons of wood yeah <laughs> so it's a lot of heat that is required to dry the, the tea leaves and of course you could in principle use electricity to heat the tea leaves but why when mm. there are abundant solar heat mm. so you have an efficient solar collector to concentrate the light and produce 160 degree hot steam and you use this heat to dry the tea leaves mm. so there is no reason why we would first make electricity and and then make heat out no, of the electricity no. if you need electricity well then you do electricity and use electricity mm. but if you need heat then you have a solar thermal panel and yeah. you produce heat and you store it in big tanks or pits and then you use it to cover your heat need. Yeah.